Okay, we got mobs coming. It looks like we have the full crew, which is good. And uh, like I said, I'm really glad that they didn't put these mobs in that shed. Oh man, that's a lot of mobs. Holy crap. Oh man, my health is going down fast. Oh crap, I gotta get out of here. Uh, I, I'm gonna die. Welcome back, everybody, to Ark Survival Ascendant. I'm an old guy, Gaming, and in this episode, we are doing some sea stuff, at least to, to start with. I've actually been uh, at sea for quite some time, and um, there is an Alpha Mosasaur uh, right below us. He's just barely out of render distance. We're going to attack here in a second. Um, so, yeah, I'm just really on the lookout right now for a high-level Bassy, and I just, I'm killing low levels left and right, but I'm not finding anything of a decent level. Um, so we continue to look for that uh, because I really want to start running the Western Sea Cave uh, as soon as possible. And even if we don't find a Bassy fairly soon, we're just going to run it anyways, and I think we'll be okay. I uh, had some really bad luck. Uh, we attacked a, um, a, a pretty high-level Alpha Tuso earlier, and long story short, I lost my... Uh, five of my sharks to the world border. Very, very frustrating. Um, so, yeah, um, just really sucks that that happened. And then, uh, let's see, what else? We found uh, some some sea crates, and I also found a sea cave, another, another sea cave, not a, a boss cave, but just a normal cave, uh, with a node in it. The tribe that calls themselves the Howling Wolves has really made this northern adventure a lot easier. Well, them and Athena. She's right at home here. I don't think I'll ever be able to repay Rockwell for just up and giving me an Argent Tavis. He's said our conversations are payment enough, but I still feel guilty. I should remember to collect some floral samples for him while I'm here. Anyway. Tagging along with the wolves has been a good introduction to the region, but I think I'm ready to make my own way. To make real scientific conclusions, I need to observe these animals undisturbed in their natural habitat for long periods of time. Oh, and I also um, have a couple of more uh, items that I pulled out of the swamp cave. So yeah, really good stuff there. So anyway, yeah, um, it is night time and I've got the shadows turned down because if I don't have them turned down, I can't see anything. It's pitch black in the water. Um, so let's get started here by killing this Alpha Mo and see if we can get something good. Um, there it is right there. And I think there's also an Alpha Tuso in this canyon too. So we have to, I'd rather not take both of them on at exactly the same. Yeah, there it is right there, shit. Okay, um, it's a 75. And this is a 20. Well, okay, neither one of them are huge, huge levels, but 
it would be better for us to not take them both on at exactly the same time. So maybe what I should do is see if I can lure this one. There we go. Uh, over to us. Well, I hit it, but is it going to come over here? Is the thing. Let's see what it's going to do. Because again, I don't, I don't want to engage both of these creatures at exactly the same time. Uh, we could probably do it, but let's not chance it. Okay, looks like the alpha's going, or the alpha mostly is going over this way. So they, they shouldn't take long to shred the, a level 20 down. Um, these sharks are badass. And, and you know, one good thing, I guess, about losing the five sharks that I did is that this new batch that I have, are, they're a little bit stronger than the original batch. I mean, it still sucks that we lost them, but, you know, it is what it is. Okay. Um, I didn't see a message that a particular shark killed the alpha, so just trying to see if there's a bag around. There's usually a bag with their stuff. Well, here comes the Tuso. I guess we better deal with him first. Oh, I'm on the shark that's actually caught in his tentacles. Not anymore. This is a 75. Definitely a respectable level, but nothing we can't handle. Well, that was weird. It made a almost like a growling sound. They cut. They kind of killed it down in this little. Oh yeah, that does. Oh, there it is. Wow. Okay. I. You know what? I never would have probably found that without these binoculars. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's the usual stuff that we get off of Alpha Tusos. Uh, this is actually the best thing. Of course, we need some of this stuff for boss fight. Well, no, this is actually very good too. You really want these mostly for this anyway, so to get a hundred of that in one shot, I'll take it. Oh, there it is, there it is. Oh man, these binoculars are a godsend, you guys. There it is, right there, okay. See, the, we would have lost a hundred black pearls and the tooth, which we need for boss fights. The rest of this stuff is, you know, it's it's okay. Um, okay, good, I'm glad we found it. Grab all of that stuff and probably throw just about all of it into the grinder. Because I have so so much loot now. Okay, good. Whew. <laughs> I was a little concerned there for a minute. Um, Alright, let's get on Ichabod. And uh, we'll go kill that low-level bass and keep looking for... Keep looking. That's all we can do, really. Um, but yeah, guys, if you're doing ocean stuff on Ark Survival Ascended, to stay away from the border. Um... Because I've lost a total of six sharks now to the world border under the sea. It really sucks. Okay, Soldier 4 killed that one. So let's see if it's got anything good. So a lot of these sharks, as you already saw, have some loot already on them from previous kills. Soldier 4. Okay. Nah, nothing... Nothing really to write home to mother about. Well, except for 20... Jeez, 20 points. That's something. That's something. So all of these sharks are 10,000 health, and I'm just pumping melee. There's just really nothing else that you need to pump on them. Melee, or I mean, uh, stamina is only important if you're going to actually ride the shark itself, which I'm not, of course, doing. During the caves, I'll be in the... I'll be on a bassy, and then when I'm out here, I'm just riding Ichabod, and and direct the the flow of things. And it works out pretty good, as long as they don't glitch through the world border, that is. Whenever we come to these glowing areas, I just send the boys in to gather biotoxin. So we've got a nice supply of that. Um, I do... Okay, there's another two so. It's only a 25. Um... That's a pretty high-level Plessy, but I'd probably only consider a Plessy if it was, like, max level. You know, we could get a Tuso. A Tuso would also be 
as good as uh, as a basilosaur, if not even better, for caves. Um, but I haven't really, I don't think I've come across a, anything high level that wasn't also an alpha, which obviously we can't tame. What's the matter with me? Hungry. All right, guys, go kill that low level. Guys and gals. Get wrecked. <laughs> two so lasted like two seconds. Uh, I think it said Soldier 1 killed it. Yeah, we just got some more tentacles and stuff. Oh, incidentally, this canyon that I'm in here, this is a really good spot for alphas. I've seen them in here multiple times. Um, so this is where I'm at. It's just this whole canyon area is a, a really, seems to be a really good spot for alphas to spawn. Just FYI for anybody that wants to know. The nice thing about having these guys in a train is all I have to do is tag Soldier 8. And as long as Soldier 8 is here, then that means everybody else is here. Because if anybody gets lost, then the train gets broken. So it's really handy to know you got all your dinos without having to always count all, in this case, eight of them. So this little cave area here, I was actually watching a video and um, I guess it's not really a cave per se, but it's um, it's a good place to, to trap Amosa or well, you don't you don't really trap Tusos, but you can trap Amosa down here with some Hammoth gates and then take it out. So I thought that was pretty cool. It's always cool to see what other people come up with for you know traps and things like that. Okay, there's another Basilosaur. Come on, be something high, please. Level 35. Thanks, thanks, Ark. Thanks, Ark gods, bastards. Of course, it's a level 35. Why should I expect anything higher than that? <laughs> oh, we'll eventually come across one. It'll happen. At least I'll keep telling myself that. Yeah, this corner here, this northwest corner, both times I lost the Bassies in the World border, it was in this corner. Uh, but this is also a good spawn point for Alphas, too. All right, I've made the, I've made a decision. We don't find a freaking bassy by the time we get back to our base. We're just going to go run the Western Sea Cave with the one we got. We've got really good stats on our sharks anyways. I might consider taming a 150 if I come across one, but just not needed. Not now. When you're first starting off with breeding, uh, you know, it's never a bad idea to nab a few 150s and just check their stats but at some point you get to the point where you know there's you're not there's nothing in the wild you're going to find that's better than what you currently got going i'm not at that point yet though so i might be with the sharks but it's certainly not with my other critters some um you know some people go out and get a whole bunch of 150s before they even start and pick the best stats but the amount of time and effort that that would take is just beyond what's practical for me to do so i just grab a high level and get started with what i got but i will keep looking for other wilds um early on if i feel like there's a potential to get you know a better stat but i, I watched a video a while back of somebody who was talking about mutation stacking and so the first thing you do is you go out and you get yourself 20 level 150 rexes and i'm going do you realize how long it would take to get <laughs> 20 level 150 rexes it's like no you spawned all those in for this video <laughs> that is not practical uh I, i'm not saying it's impossible but it's just not practical in fact i haven't even found a single 150 rex and you know we've been doing this for about a month now haven't we ascendant has been out for roughly a month yeah i haven't even seen one let alone 20 of course, I don't spend every hour of every day looking for them either, but still. I have to tell you guys, man, the, the Swamp's Cave has kind of spoiled me <laughs> when it comes to loot. I mean, I've probably looted a half a dozen 
red sea crates, deep sea crates, and I have not found anything in those crates that even comes close to what's in the swamp crates. The place is just the best place ever for getting loot. Considering how relatively, I do mean relatively, easy it is to do, you know. I've gone around this entire ocean completely around the map and never seen one sea crate and then sometimes you know you see three or four okay there is a two so is that an alpha yeah it's an alpha okay i mean we'll kill it for sure let's take these plessies oh there's a mosa two level one fifth or level 15 rather if it was 115 i'd be taming it <laughs> i'm not deliberately looking for a mosasaur but if we find a high level one I, I think I'll grab it I, I got a a pretty nice platform saddle mosa's gonna come in and join the fun you know what I don't want to get grabbed level five okay soldier five rather killed the alpha so at least we know who did it now Um, I think we already had that. Ooh, that, look at that. That is nice. My goodness, 446.6% Ascendant Fishing Rod. That is some nice loot because we can use this to get some nice loot. Um, you know, we still occasionally get those gigantic salmon spawn right down by the river in front of our base. That was nice. That is a really, really nice piece of loot. We'll take it absolutely take it and you got 15 levels look at you go man all right okay line up everybody i gotta unload you <laughs> uh okay so i'm going to get these guys unloaded guys and gals and then i'm going to uh trade places uh with ichabod uh with our bassy and we're gonna go do the western sea cave so i'll before we, uh, I'm going to cut the camera to do that, but I do want to show you one thing. Um, this is Seahawk. He's, he's usually a little more blue than purple. It's just the lighting. But um, I am actually a native of Washington State, born and raised. And so... As much as I care about sports at all, which isn't a lot, I do like the Seahawks. And so I thought that was would be an apt name for uh, for our new bird here. Uh, but again, like I said, it, he the color is, is a lot more blue. We just got kind of like a yellowish light filter on right now. Uh, but it is more blue than purple in, the, in normal light. So, yeah, really cool. Uh, plus, he's got two health mutations, um, stamina and a melee, I think. So he's... He's pretty pretty tough. All right, guys. Uh, let me get the sharks unloaded and get situated here. We'll grab. Some, I got some stews and some things uh, in the fridge that I'll take. Uh, get my uh, scuba gear repaired, all that good stuff, and then I'll meet you guys uh, when we're ready to go down to that Western Sea Cave. All right, guys. We are ready to rock and roll. So let's see here. I got all of my scuba and armor repaired. I've got my soups. I got. Uh, arrows and shotgun shells with my shotgun. Um, I put away some of my hot, more valuable stuff, uh, but I'm bringing the shotgun with me because there is a portion in there where we will probably go on land. Well, yeah, I think we will because I think we need to, to get loot crates and there's going to be monsters that we'll have to fight. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. So let's do this. All right, our very first sea cave run this ought to be interesting um let me look on the map here for a second i do have it yeah it's just basically you're right up this way kind of down in this canyon right on the other side of the this little ridge here so um you know we're taking eight sharks down here and uh, I'm under no illusion that they're not going to get stuck. <laughs> but we'll do the best we can. And hopefully, uh, you know, it, it won't completely 
exasperate me here. Okay, we want to make sure Soldier 8 is with us. Get out of here, eels. You can't hurt me. I'm, a ba I'm on a basilisaur. So I ran this cave in Ark Survival Evolved, I don't know, more times than I can count because at the time uh, it was one of the better options for loot and I had a, a sea base here. Um, so I would run it like almost daily. So very familiar with the cave as it was in Survival Evolved. My guess is it's more or less going to be the same layout here in Ascended, but probably just a little fancier looking. All right, so far so good. Our boys and girls are keeping up. So when we get into here, um, oh, that scared me. Yeah, maybe we have to go a little further. But yeah, see all those jellyfish coming after us? That's why you want to be on a bassy in here. Or at least a, or a Tuso would be fine too. Alright, so now there's supposed to be a passageway up to the right, which it looks like there is, and then one over to the left. Um, let's take the right passage. And this should lead up into a pool in a place where we can get out and potentially, I think, one of our first loot crates. Just making sure everybody is with us. All right, so far so good. This jelly's going to shock, so we might as well... Let the gang eat it. Um, sometimes there was a loot crate actually right down below me uh, in Evolved, but I am not, I'm not seeing it. It would be pretty obvious if it was there. Yes, this looks very, very familiar. And, um, in fact, well, I would even come down here and mine, like, metal and obsidian, uh, because, and pearls, because there used to be a whole bunch of them along uh, on this little island here. This actually looks a little more dreary than I remember it. Let's take a quick look around possible that there could be mobs up here, so let's get this guy ready. Yeah, you should be able to get, like, pearls. Is that a pearl? What? Everything is just really muddy here. Okay. So it looks like they maybe changed that a little bit. So we'll have to go through this channel here. But this this does look very, very familiar, though. Um, I think there's a chamber that goes off to the right, and there could be a loot crate in there, but I'm not going to go in there on foot. Yeah, it's actually a little more dreary looking in here than I remember it. Huh. Okay. Let's go ahead and see if we can thread this needle without everybody getting messed up. Okay, so if we go down... Hmm. Yeah, we're probably going to get some stuck dinos coming through there. They're already stuck. We should probably take these guys back down and around. 
just because there's just too much shit there for them to get stuck on. They didn't really have too much trouble getting through here, so that's good. There is a passageway through there to the other side, but I don't want to take the train of pain through there. Come on, Soldier 8. You're my indicator that all is well and everyone's with us. Let's go this way. Okay, so this little channel that we have to go through here is going to be interesting. Um, and there is a loot crate in here, as I was expecting. Uh, but there's also, can be, mobs, but I am not seeing any. So let's quickly grab this. All right, well, we already got that, but we'll take it. What, uh, what is the, what are the values on this? It's 287 durability versus 287, yeah, it looks like it's the same. But it is a blueprint, so, you know, if we ever lose the ones we have, right? Okay, let's move through here. Um, we're missing six and later. So they're caught up on something. I think we could probably leave the bassy here because I don't see anything else. And let's see if we can figure out what happened to these other guys. So we'll just keep an eye on them as we go through here. Once we get through this little channel, then from there on out, it shouldn't be difficult in terms of pathing. Because we'll have some pretty wide open areas. But we got some tight corners here, so... It's kind of nice, though, that they took the... the mobs out of this channel because they used to be in here. And I don't see any, which is fine with me. All right, I'm going to park right here. And we're going to go off into the side room for a second. If I can figure out what the frick's going on. Now, I'm stuck. Why am I stuck? Oh, because we're in the terrain. Yeah, lovely. Okay. Yeah, you stay there. And let's go back here. Hopefully there aren't any monsters back here. Uh, there's an explorer note and a loot crate can spawn back here. At least it did not evolved. I just, I don't think it is, it's back here, right? Oh, what was that? Because when it is back here, it's very obvious. Let's see what this is. I decided to seek out volunteers for my next experiment among the island's larger tribes. I thought that surely they would be willing to help after I patiently moderated so many of their frivolous disputes. How idealistic of me. Instead, they have yet another favor to ask. Apparently, there's a new tribe that's behaving rather aggressively and no one can successfully negotiate with its leader. So naturally, they have turned to me. It's rather bothersome, but I can't touch their logic. If Sir Edmund Rockwell cannot reason with this nerva fellow, then who can? All right, cool. So that was a story note. Uh, Rockwell is one of the main characters, for those of you who don't know. And um, at that point in the story, um, Nervous Tribe, who's the Roman legionary guy, legionnaire, is trying to take over the island and conquer everybody, but there's another tribe that's resisting him, and uh, the other two, well, I don't know so much about Helena Walker, but Mei Lin is also, like, kind of leading the other tribe against them, and so that has has to do with that. <laughs> um, Nettie the Noodle, there's a YouTuber, his name is Nettie the Noodle, and he did a really, really well-produced video actually a couple of videos on the entire story of the arc um so highly recommend that uh if you haven't already seen it it's, it's really good okay let's continue on here uh, trying to okay we got mobs coming it looks like we have the full crew, which is good. 
And uh, like I said, I'm really glad that they didn't put these mobs in that shed. Oh, man. That's a lot of mobs. Holy crap. Uh... I'm really glad that they didn't put those mobs in the channel there. At least they let us get through it before the shit hit the fan. Oh man, my health is going down fast. Oh crap, I gotta get out of here. Uh, I, I'm gonna die. Oh shit, I can't believe we escaped that. We lost a Meg. That is insane. Oh, man, I thought for sure we were going to... Look at how much health is left here. Yeah, we're losing Megs. Oh, my God. I did not think it was going to be that bad. All right, well, we'll let them finish out the battle. Um, if they can't... Oh, yeah, we're losing Sharks. If they can't get through that, I don't know what, man. Holy crap, Ola. There's another one down. I was not expecting that to happen, you guys. I knew we were going to be in for a fight, but not that bad of a fight. Yeah, we're, we're losing all of our sharks. <laughs> oh, crap. Wow. I think they're all dead. And they're, oh shit, they're coming after me. I gotta go. Wow. That was just absolutely unexpected and insane. Let's see if we can go over through here. Okay, right, I'm gonna stay here for the moment and. Holy crap. All right, let's get this. Let's see if we can get healed back up a little bit. Do you like red meat or normal fish? Looks like normal fish is... Well, I don't know. Which one is? I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to try and get this thing healed back up, and then we're going to have to figure out what to do. We lost our entire train of pain. Unbelievable. But... You guys saw how many mobs were there. Oh, man. We might have... To, yeah, I don't know what we're going to do. <laughs> we might have to try and uh, make a run for it. I was... Yeah, I was not expecting that. I guess what we... Hmm. What we could do... We could bring, like, a couple of packs of sharks down here and stage them right before that room. I don't know. I'll have to think about this. This cave is obviously not going to be a walk in the park. <laughs> it, wasn't, it wasn't that hard before. I mean, I remember getting maybe a half a dozen megs on you, you know, at any given time. But that was like, I don't know how many that was. Plus, there was an alpha. Oh, geez. That just scares the hell out of me. All right, guys, we're back. Oh, my goodness, that took a long time to to heal this guy up. Um, so the name of the game now is going to be Evasive Action. <laughs> You're going to try and stay away from everything. The, you know, the good news is we don't have to worry about keeping sharks from getting stuck. Um, but we're just going to see what we can do while avoiding fighting 20 megalodons and an alpha at once um and let's just see what happens one of the things that i thought about as i sat there for 12 million years um healing this guy up or gal up rather is i think our next batch of sharks we need to give them more health because all of my sharks had 10,000 health and um i i think you know having a little bit more health and a little more tankiness in this situation is going to be beneficial. This must have been a shark that was left over from... I mean, I, I don't mind fighting, you know, onesie-twosies. 
but just not 20 at a time. I don't even know what level this thing is, but he's... I don't like the colors in here, man. Everything is like freaking all drab and dark and oily looking. He was a 190 Mega. Um, yeah, so... I think I'm just going to keep doing melee on, on this guy or gal. And uh, we'll just keep her health topped off. Like I said, I, I don't mind fighting a few here and there, we, but we, we can't take on a humongous pack like, you know, like we had. I mean, I'm lucky to be alive myself. I, we just about bought the farm. But anyway, yeah, you know, maybe bring a little bit larger pack in here and give them more health. Maybe get it, bring them up to maybe 15,000 HP instead of 10,000. You know, obviously they won't be quite as offensively strong, but um, they just, we lost those sharks so fast, but there were so many enemies is the thing. And some of them are might, maybe are still waiting for us, but I'd like to think that our sharks thin them out uh, pretty good too. Okay, there's, oh, oh, there's a couple right there. There's a bunch of them right there. They're all kind of stuck. Okay, is it? Can we get some of these without having to take them all on at the same time? Let's try it. A 250, level 250. Wow. A 100, a 160, and a 290. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, well, we're. Let's just see what we can do here. Bassies are tanky. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, I'm, uh... One of these things is doing like 285, 300 and some odd per hit. And I'm stuck. Of course I am. Stuck simulator. There we go. Oh, shit. Okay. I wonder if... We're, we're already down to less than half our health again, just from those sharks. I want to try something, though. Let's go back over here. I wonder if I could get a pig down here and just keep it down here all the time. We could set, like, a little pin up for it on this island. I'm pretty sure those megs can't get over here. Um, Can I... Do this. Okay, yep, I can. <laughs> uh, well, I guess that's one way to do it. God damn it. Now I'm going to have to spend another 10 minutes healing that shark back up again, or the bassy. <sighs> Are you the one that I just killed? Yes, you are. Okay. Okay, here's another one. All right, well, shit. I'm just killing all these guys with shotguns. That takes two of them out. Okay, we got the, the highest level, the 290. Is that... This is where the this um, hollow sight really comes in handy because when the sight turns yellow, I know I'm on the, on the enemy. There's no way I'd be able to tell that from up here. Okay, is there any more? Yeah, there's still yellow there. And the shotgun's awesome. Oh, we got another 290. <sighs> okay, let's hop back down and see what the situation is. Did we kill all of them? They're kind of looking dead. Are you, are you dead? You know, oh. Hmm. 
I don't... I think that one's still alive. No, I don't think it is. It it kind of moves a little bit, but now nah, see they're all they're all hunched over like that, so I, I think they're all dead. Okay. Whew. I have to say, you guys, <laughs> after just wrecking the ocean, I was not expecting this cave to be so so hard I'm kind of glad that it is in a, in a sense because of the challenge but it's also scary as hell too well alright I'm going to go back and heal the bassy again and then we will proceed and just you know when we get into the first big chamber it's a, it's a very large room with very deep water and it's possible that we could avoid if we stay all the way on top or maybe all the way on the bottom i don't know we'll just have to kind of assess the situation when we get over there but i'll see you guys in another ten thousand years